Hello, it's Falling Out Sure. I think this is my third video for the day. It's a record. Welcome again to The Rock. Um, a couple of videos ago I did a video and I was talking about how I'm not concerned about what's going on in Ukraine. And I've been asked questions about that and I just wanted to respond. Um, what is more likely to happen? A nuclear bomb being dropped by Russia on American soil or you being affected by food shortages, um, job losses, truckers striking because they don't want to to get the, you know, the you, know, you know what I mean, they don't want to get that. What's more likely to affect you? And I ask that because I think that in this country, because this country has taken on the, the job of world police, y'all remember that movie, I uh, can't remember what it was called, uh, Team America or whatever it was, where they had the song, America, F yeah, here to save the mother effing day now, you remember that song? <laughs> He had a little puppets or like claymation or what? You never heard that song? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ebony just came in and said she never heard that song. I'm playing it for her after this. You know, that that whole mindset of whatever goes on around the world, except certain areas, we're gonna go and 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 and, and fix it, you know? We're gonna bring democracy to a people that did never ask for it. Stuff like that. And we already know that the whole agenda was the self-serving interests of this country. So, if Ukraine and Russia go to war, let's just say Russia does go in Ukraine, how does that directly impact me to the point where I should be taking time or resources out to prepare for whatever fallout may come from that? When right now in this country, the shelves are bare. Which one has a, a has a higher chance of affecting me? And this is how, you know, uh, uh, being a numbers person. I like numbers. I like statistics. What is the probability of that war affecting me compared to the probability of what we are facing in this country right now affecting me? We just weigh the two. You know, I'm a firm believer, you know, in following the book, the Bible. I'm a firm believer in what the Bible says. Judgment starts in the house of Israel first. As a nation, Israel focused on themselves. They focused inwardly and then it extended outwardly. So one of the problems with this country is this country is trying to solve all the problems that they're sending hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars to all these other countries when there are so many issues going on here. Can you imagine if they brought all the manufacturing back home? Can you imagine if they brought... Can you imagine if, instead of funding other countries to get water, funding other countries to increase their agricultural output, can you imagine if this country... You know, I'm just saying. If they taught more... If they eliminated, let's just say, homeowners associations, and they, they, they gave grants, and they gave money to, for people to start home gardens if they gave incentives and kickbacks and tax breaks to households that turn their front yard into a food producing forest and their backyard into a food producing forest can you imagine what this country would be can you imagine that if they brought all the manufacturing home and were able to give decent to high paying jobs to uh, people in this country not giving a Taco Bell worker $27 an hour. You know what I mean? drive through operator making 22 bucks an hour. Not that. Not that. If people actually made a living wage, instead of funding all these other countries, and a lot of the money they're giving is just straight up bullshit. It's just straight up bullshit. I don't know if you saw that puff of smoke.
<laughs> uh, yeah, my wood stove. Uh, I didn't have the door all the way closed. Just can you imagine that? So instead, we're sending money all over the country to get other countries to up their whatever. Basically, we're just we're just buying in other countries. So whenever something goes off in one of these other countries, you know, it's a country that we're sending missiles to or tanks to or, you know, we're training their, you know, soldiers for whatever geopolitical advantage or want that this country has. I mean, that's what was really happening. So for the average everyday person, when you see Ukraine and Russia and the media is talking about it, your eyes are going to immediately go over there and start figuring out well, what's going to happen if, uh, if Ukraine goes into Russia or Russia goes into Ukraine and what's that going to look like for me and, and what do I have to do and what's going to, oh my gosh, and, and they're fearing you. But meanwhile, here in this nation, people are running up and they are jacking cars, they are ransacking trains. And, and stealing the goods, they're stealing the goods off UPS trucks, they are, uh, you have food shortages on the shelves, and, and truckers are being told that, you know, I mean, just all these, these mandates and all this stuff that's going on that is making your average everyday person not be able to afford to live. But they got you worrying about what's going to happen in Ukraine. No, I'm not saying that, so, that, that, that something could not pop off that affects your average everyday person. Sure, something could. Absolutely. I mean, technically a comet could come out from outer space and hit the Earth. But what is the likelihood of it? And I, you know, and I ask that when, when it comes to what do you, you know, when, when you store food and you store this and you store that and you have protection, what are you protecting for? Are you literally protecting? Do you have these things and provisions because you're waiting for your, your fantasy Red Dawn to your, your Red Dawn fantasy to appear, or are you concerned about things that could happen locally, statewide? How about stateside? How about things that could happen in this country today? How about that? We got people focused and stressed out on what could happen in Ukraine, and they don't even have the money to pay the rent. They don't have a secondary heating source. They don't have uh, another way of producing electricity. They don't have $500, $1,000 saved up in their savings account. They don't have a means to personally protect themselves. They don't have uh, uh, three weeks, much less six months, much less one year of food storage. That, and, and that food storage could just be used just in case you lose your job. Just in case you lose your job, you'd have money, you'd have food stored up, you'd have a, 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 some cash aside where you don't have to change your whole life because you lost your job. You're growing your own food, but instead, what's happening? Instead, they got us focusing on what's happening over there, what's happening over there. I wonder, I wonder, I just really, I mean, just thinking about this, I wonder if the people of Chile. I wonder the, in the, the, the capital, the people in the capital, Santiago. I wonder if they're over here like, man, Ukraine's about to go into Russia. Hey, Ukraine's about to go into Russia. Shit, what's that going to look like for us? I wonder. See, but they're not playing world police either. If we brought all of our stuff back home and focus on the issues that were taking place in this country first... Things like that wouldn't, it wouldn't be on, a, on, on every news channel pumping you with this idea that somehow if one Russian troop steps foot in, 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 into Ukraine, all, all of a sudden, you know, uh, uh, Godzilla's going to burst out of the ocean and, just, and start blowing fire over New York. King Kong's going to come out from L.A. and they're going to meet somewhere in Kansas. And have their 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 battle of the beasts. That's what they're making it sound like. Meanwhile, your grocery stores don't got food. Yeah. Meanwhile, truckers are striking. Meanwhile, you still don't have a garden in. Meanwhile, crime is booming. Meanwhile, and not just booming, I'm talking about exponentially booming. 
Meanwhile, the food banks are talking about they're exhausting all their resources trying to feed the people in this country. This is why Israel in the Bible was focused on themselves. That's why they had a law for themselves. This is why they had this. This is why they didn't focus on anybody else unless those people were attacking us. Or unless Yah said, hey, that's your land, go get it. They didn't spend their time focusing on what was happening between the Rome, Romans and the Greeks. They, didn't, they weren't focused on that unless it was going to affect them. Oh, I mean, I've been listening to the story of the Maccabees at work on uh, YouTube, you know, it, it reads, the, some guy reads a story to you, or reads the, uh, the book of Maccabees to you, and it's, it's interesting to, to see how, how many things that Yisrael did not stick their head in. They focused on themselves. This country, United States of America, cannot deliver itself. They cannot fix what's going on here. But the media wants you focused on how that war over there could affect us here. Meanwhile, there are people right now facing evictions. There are people right now who can't feed their children. There are people right now who are praying the Jeebus. Not Yahshua, Hamashiach. They're praying the Jeebus that somehow he touches Biden's heart so they can get more stimulus checks. There are people who are starving with a backyard full of grass. There are people that are hungry with a balcony that has uh, lawn chairs and, 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 and tables on it, but not a single bucket or gardening bag or, or potter, pot of anything. But hey, look at what's going on in Ukraine. And try to figure out if, if Ukraine, if it goes down and Russia goes in, then Russia's gonna somehow get over here to America next and Red Dawn's gonna happen. Right? It's sad. Focus on the things that you can't control, focus on the things that are tangible, focus on the things that are real. What you're seeing in this country, that's real. That could affect anybody at any given time. Any given time, you could pull up to a stoplight and have somebody run up on you with a gun. That that's happening. People driving and stopping at stoplights and being ran up on and, and, and getting carjacked. You could be pumping gas and have somebody walk up to you with a firearm and tell you to give you the keys. Don't give them the keys. You could go to your grocery store and not find the food that you're used to buying. All the same time, you're watching your dollar be devalued. But nah, think of what's going on in Ukraine. And keep focusing on the fear and fabricating inside your head how that's going to affect you. While you're already being affected and destroyed. And in many people's lives already, you know, uh, hypothetical nukes have already dropped on their finances on their homes, and on their lives. It's sad. Just want something to think about. Bless y'all. Shalom.